Chakra Naro. It's Friday, you guys, and these are the news reports of the bazaar. An axe crashes through a car windshield on a highway. It was a scary moment on a highway north of Boston when an axe smashed through the windshield of a car. Massachusetts State Police said the axe bounced off of a landscaper's dump truck about 11 a.m. Wednesday on a southbound Interstate 95 in Topsville. They released a photo showing that the axe with the corner of its blade stuck the passenger side of the car's dashboard. The handle was sticking through the windshield. Police said the car's passenger was shaken up but not hurt. The truck driver from Peabody, Massachusetts was cited for failing to secure the axe which carries a $200 fine. Police said it could have been one of the worst car's driver had it been obeying the 65 mile per hour speed limit. Police aren't identifying the motorist. <laughs> Good thing the man didn't get killed. Can you imagine driving down the road? Pow! Well, I'll be dang. <laughs> In a weird universe, uh, Bulgarian goat people. No, these pictures don't show Sasquatch. They show people participating in the Bulgarian kukuri ritual meant to scare evil spirits away from the village. Though if I saw someone dressed up like this wandering through a forest, I might think it was Sasquatch. Young people traditionally only men, but now both sexes dressed up in elaborate animalistic and celebratory costumes, usually made of goat skin in some way representing the goat. As a culmination of the festival, a kukuri is strapped into a plow, dies and then sprinkled with seeds and is reborn. His goat skin costume is then buried in seven different fields. <laughs> It's Cousin It. A New Mexico man faces charges after authorities say a couple found him naked and sleeping in their bed. Investigators say a 30-year-old Freddy Shelby of Albuquerque was arrested Sunday after the homeowners called police to report their unwanted mystery guest. According to a criminal complaint, Shelby broke into the couple's home through a window and grabbed a sprite from the refrigerator before falling asleep. In the master bedroom, authorities say the homeowners found a disrobed Shelby in a deep sleep. Officers arrived and called to the man, but he slept through it, authorities said. Shelby woke up after an officer ripped the blankets off of him. Shelby told officers he thought he was at his girlfriend's house. He was charged with breaking and entering. It wasn't immediately known if he had an attorney but people assume that he was drunk, I guess. And those are your news of the bazaar. Uh, today, August 1st, 2014, you guys have a great day.